We do want to thank our sponsors. Now, one of them is Committee Coffee. So if you want some coffee, guys, check them out. Committee Coffee, you can order whatever kind of coffee you want, be it full bean or go ahead and grind it. They can do that too. So one of the things I love about them, not only is the coffee great, but this mug is fantastic. So if you guys need some decent mugs in the house, there you go. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Beretta 9mm USA Senior here. And young Beretta wanted to do this video and it's hard for me to say no when I get to take out two excellent firearms and show off one of my favorite knives at the same time. What we have here is the Hellcat Pro and this is the Dusk 19 from Lone Wolf. Of course, the Hellcat Pro is from Springfield Armory. So let me go over what my thoughts are on the guns. I've said many times that the standard Hellcat is one of my favorite pistols out there as far as small pistols are concerned. So let's take a look at what the size difference is of the two. Putting the Hellcat Pro over the top of the Lone Wolf, it looks like the grip size is almost the same. The slide is about an inch difference. It's hard to see on that angle. So let me try to change the angle a little bit for you guys. There you go. So that's the difference of the two. The other thing I noticed is the grip circumference on the Hellcats is just small. It's trim. It's not as bad or as small as a SIG P365. P365, yeah. thank you. I like the adaptive grip texture on that Hellcat as well. It's good, but I actually, I think I prefer the Lone Wolf's texture on its grip a little bit more. It's more aggressive. And also the size of it. This is pretty small, guys. So if you have small hands or you're a female, I think you're gonna prefer the Hellcat Pro. If you're a larger male or you're a female that just likes a larger size pistol, this is excellent. And the texture on this thing is fantastic, as Young Bretta said. And when you grab a hold of it, I mean, that texture just bites into your skin. And yet it's just barely bigger, right? It's just a little bit bigger than that gun right there. So either one of them, I can see where you can compare the two. Let's go as far as ammo is concerned. Your 15 plus one, Capacity is the same on both. You got the metal mag on the Hellcat Pro. So it's gonna drop for you a little bit easier compared to the polymer mags. But the Lone Wolf takes Glock mags for what that's worth. <laughs> and they both shoot them out pretty good. And yes, the Lone Wolf does take Glock mags. And I went over this in the Lone Wolf uh, video showing that these are no longer Glock mags. So I don't know if Lone Wolf ever sold them with Glock mags specifically, but these are actually different now. Is that a Korean mag? Yeah. Okay. There you go. Made in Korea, says it right on it. Just, you know, so everyone has the same information. So I'll point out the one miss I've noticed thus far about this Lone Wolf, and that is that front sight isn't completely straight. It's a little canted. So little mistake there with whoever installed that front sight, but otherwise that Lone Wolf is a 10. Absolutely love the feature set on the Hellcat. Both pistols have extremely high visibility, front sights on them. They're both that yellow, luminescent paint color surrounded by a tritium night sight in the center there. You can see that the night vision lone wolf sight is a little bit smaller in profile to the dot on the Hellcat. So if you have, you know, not so great eyes, you might prefer the sight picture a little bit more on the Hellcat versus the Dusk 19. And of course, it's the Hex Wasp on the Hellcat Pro. Go ahead and show them the triggers for us here and let them know which one you prefer overall, as far as the trigger anyway. That is another reason why I've always liked the Hellcats, guys. The Hellcat triggers, in my opinion, of the three that I own, they're very consistently fantastic as far as the trigger is concerned. And let me show you what I'm talking about. Okay. So take up the trigger, almost goes to the halfway point right there where there's quite a bit of room in the back and you're firm, you're firm right there. You're against the wall. Pull about, what, five, five and a half. It had a little bit of movement before it broke. So about five and a half pounds and it breaks. Reset, very good on these, makes a loud audible noise. You're back on the trigger again. It has a little bit of movement right there, see that? little bit of movement and then it broke right into the movement. So it's an excellent trigger, in my opinion. An excellent self-defense type trigger. On the Lone Wolf. This one's a flat trigger. You and can, it's metal. Yeah, and you can order them however you want to. It's a pretty cool trigger. Again, it has a safety dingus on it, as you can see right there. You can feel resistance as soon as you start pulling it and putting a little bit of pressure on it. There's some resistance right there. So it's a good feel to the trigger as you take it back to where it firms up. Again, it's closer back here, notice. It's a little closer back here to the back of the trigger area and a little more pressure, there's a little movement and then it snaps. Reset, coming out of the back. A little bit further maybe, audible noise. You're back against the wall almost with a little bit of movement right there again. So both of them are very close to the same. 
and then it breaks again. You can tell what the triggers have not broken in both these situations that the trigger is a little closer to the back of the frame here on the Lone Wolf Dust 19. Over here on the Hellcat Pro, it's got a little more room to it. As you were saying earlier that this thing breaks towards the rear. Yeah, I actually sent you a text about that when I was looking at it earlier. It doesn't bother me. Yeah, it doesn't bother me. So the trigger I would say definitely is better on the Springfield Hellcat compared to our Example right here of the Dusk 19. So trigger and sights I would say are better on the Hellcat. Otherwise, this new Lone Wolf Dusk 19 has a lot going for it. Look at that recessed target crown right there. Steel guide rod in there. Night vision sights. The serrations on the front and the back are fantastic. Where these serrations are almost non-existent. Yeah. Almost. I mean, there's a much better job done here. For $699, you get a lot of features on that gun. This thing brings a lot of custom features that a lot of people put on their Glock pistols, and you get it already on there. So talking about price, you do have a $50 difference between these two pistols. The Hellcat Pro runs 649 MSRP, and this version of the Dusk 19 with the flat dark earth features runs 699 directly from Lone Wolf Arms. Both the guns are excellent, but my personal take is this is my gun. What about you? Are you serious? Really? You prefer the Lone Wolf, huh? Yeah, and you didn't expect that because I've been a huge fan of the Hellcats, yeah. and I still am. I will take a Hellcat over that SIG any day of the week. It's just my preference for smaller guns. I also will take a Hellcat over a Glock 43 or anything like that. But the overall gun itself, I think this is superior to both the SIG and the Glock. This I like just a little bit more. Yeah. All right, guys, that's it for this one. We just wanted to share our thoughts on these two particular pistols we like both of them a lot so if you own them both already we say keep them if you're looking for something else to add to your collection but you don't want to break the bank these both are very competitively priced for the amount of quality they bring to your collection check out the knife too i love the knife thanks very much for watching we'll see you guys on the next video remember to like share and subscribe to our channel here on youtube the beretta 9 mm usa channel and the cz 9 mm usa channel for your guns and gear videos going into the future we'll see you guys on the next video and remember your second amendment is worth protecting